away from uh, the makeover because we have to talk about serious business. Let's bust serious. some myths, okay? Some beauty myths. Here's our first one. Cleansing oil is not ideal for oily skin. That sounds pretty obvious to me, but what do you think? Comments? Mm, not true. Not true. I'd say, as an oily skin person, no go for me oh. and for mostly oil people. <gasps> finally, and we disagree. I know, okay, finally. So, so you happy. say, do you use okay. it? You want a non-communogenic uh -huh. cleansing oil. So that is an oil that will not clog your pores. Okay. Because what, I actually use a cleanse, I have oilier skin, normal oily skin, I use a cleansing oil. Okay. Um, but it's non communogenic won't clog your pores, and it emulsifies when you mix it with water, so it creates an emulsion. Okay. And rinses away, and it doesn't stay in the pores. So, not all cleansing oils. Yeah. So we're kind of disagreeing, mm -hmm. but... It has but to have that thing in it. Say it again. non communogenic non won't clog your pores. Yeah. You know, okay. it always comes down to, though, what you prefer in texture. Mm -hmm. You know, and we always talk about that oilier skins are better with water-based products, yep. drier things, so it won't aggravate oil and make oil. Okay. So it's really preference, but if you want to try a new fancy cleansing oil, give it a go, girl. Give no, it a go. Give it a go. Try it out. I love that. I thought it was going to come to blows. I know, me too. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay, the next myth. <laughs> Toothpaste helps to shrink and zap pimples. Yes, right? I hear yes from the audience. It does. Do you want to go first? I Doesn't think it, it depends on the toothpaste. Okay. Like, what are you talking about? I mean, it has to be just has, a minty? I think there are or... certain brands that do work and some that don't. Okay, yeah. so what are you looking for? Are you looking for not a gel or are you looking for... No, you say, mister. You say I, don't do it. I actually think that when you have a pimple, and I know this from personal experience where it's inflamed, you want a product first that's going to have an anti-inflammatory quality to it, which right. is what a pimple product's for. Yeah. And also something with something like salicylic acid that's going to exfoliate the dead skin away. So I'm not a fan of the toothpaste. Doesn't yeah. toothpaste just dry it out though? Yeah, it does, but it's not meant for that. The thing is, it's dry and it's irritated and it's inflamed, so. Right. You're not really helping the issue. You're not helping the problem. To me, it's like, treat the pimple the best and get rid of it in the most gentle way. Yeah. And soothe and calm it. It's so aggravating. Right. I'm aggravated by people wearing toothpaste on their face. <laughs> <laughs> I say Stop just, the nonsense, everybody. Yeah. Hide under your pillow for a day and, and wait for the pimple I mean to Dino. go away. <laughs> Here's another one. The hemorrhoid creams oh. uh, deflate puffy eyes. It does make sense. It so works. It, it works. works, right? It works. It's an old what does it do? Trick. It's an old pageant trick, yeah, but in my opinion, I don't think what goes down there should go up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good rule of thumb, huh? <laughs> I think if you wake up with puffiness and that's what's in your medicine cabinet and you put that on and it works, I'm fine with it, and I will give Cher one of, what are we talking about, City Line Real? Yeah, City Line Real, man, hashtag it, I have a tube of that yellow stuff with the blue H on it yes. at home, and I use it occasionally, and it works just fine. And how do you use it? I slather it on underneath my eyes, yeah. and it shrinks the hemorrhoids under my eyes. So you wake up in the morning, and you have some <laughs> puffiness, and you'll throw some of that on, and it works. I will. Well, it, it, people say it works. It does work. It works. It works, but use it in moderation. Don't okay. use yeah, it every I don't day. use it all the time. Don't it's it just a day. psychological thing, yeah. that's why, yeah. right? All right, another one. You should not apply lip gloss all over your lips. That's a myth. I wouldn't, I, I'd say there's a reason why we don't go all over because it goes beyond your mouth and it looks like you just ate a hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So, uh, <laughs> so keep it in the center. <laughs> It looks like you had a hamburger. Go right ahead and do that. That's fine. So silly. What are you, anti hamburger? So silly. I love hamburgers, but I don't wear lip gloss when I eat them. Lip gloss in the middle of your lip, in the center. Yeah. Reflects... Why a burger, though? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. We really do have this fun on this show. Right? Woo. There's a new way to get a healthy glow without being out in the sun, and it's a self tanning bronzer. Take a look. <laughs> Allison, most of the time when we think about tanning products, we think of a wet product, like a lotion. But there's new innovation, right? Well, exactly. When you think about tanning, you think of a lotion, a mousse, a mist, maybe even the spray tan that you might get at a salon. But what we have managed to do, and it's the first time ever, so it's the biggest thing in tanning, is we've made tanning dry. We've put it into a powder. So it's kind of like really, really advanced 
crystal technology. This is the purest way to possibly tan. It's the purest crystal form. So all you have in any of our products, for crystal products, is pure mineral powder and DHA. So it's the purest way possible to tan. And what about the application? So the application is done with a brush which is crazy. So you actually just brush on your tan and then you have a beautiful crystal color, so a lovely bronzing sun-kissed or, or darker medium bronze color. And then over time, after, I don't know, six or eight hours, so put it on the morning and by the evening, when you take your makeup off, right. you have got a beautiful glowing skin. And I think that's one of the loveliest things about Tristel because normally when we take off our makeup as women, you know, we look okay, then we take the makeup off and then it's like, Oh, it's painful. <laughs> it doesn't have to be so painful because right. you've still got a bit of a glow. Gorgeous glow. You are all taking home the Vita Liberata Tristel Self Tanning Bronzing Mineral. Thank you. Duo. Get that glow. Let's go to 